that'll work. Oh, okay. Do, do. And top plate is finally done. Okay. And... This will work much better. <laughs> Ooh, it peeled up everywhere. I hope it's okay. But yeah, I shouldn't even have to use a spudger. Yeah. I mean, it looks great. That USB micro port is way too small. I didn't have the proper model on file, so yeah. This to be expected for the test, the ultimate test. I still need to shave this down a bit. So hopefully that. <gasps> oh my god, it fits perfectly. Oh, yes. Okay, I measured it. Great. Obviously these still don't work. So I'm going to cut off these little stands. But yeah, okay, that's pretty good. So then after, as soon as it's like flexible, you want to mash it onto a table, onto something flat and cold. And you might have to repeat this a couple times if it doesn't work right the first time. Obviously this won't work on all prints. It'll just work on fairly simple prints with no support in the middle. So like nothing is in the way. Maggie. Okay, so I changed the baud rate on the Bluetooth using AT commands, and the AT commands also changed the name. The charger, I was hoping to use something else, but I guess this will work. I need to change the programming resistor to 500 milliamps. Got the battery in, the Raspberry Pi is on the bottom, USB hub is wired up, the power relay is connected. Um, I still need the Arduino to ship. Not enough space to fit. I'll either have to drill out each of these circles or or just reprint it. Let's try this again. bent a little bit of lifting so I'm just gonna stick it on the stove
pretty flat. It's perfect. Enable Bluetooth. Connected. Turn on. Really? Wi-Fi? And it's off.